Hello and welcome to my demonstration today on the eBug contract management system. So here we have the demo environment for eBug, first of all. So eBug, it's our business process automation platform. It is a web-based system and can be accessed from any web browser after deploying it onto your cloud or on-premise server. It is also a permission-based system, so not everyone has access to everything in the system. So right now I'm logged in as the administrator, so I'm able to see everything in the system. And here is a main dashboard where we have our approvals here, as well as our last visited documents. And we also have some of our favorite documents here. And on our left here is the main modules of eBuff. So for example, we have our workflow, records management, as well as the dashboard. And in order to, to do our contract management, we can go into the applications here. And we can go to legal, for example. And this is just one example that I'm showing today. So we can do upload new contract. So this is a sample one that we have over here as the legal document, for example. And here we can choose the vendor name. So here we have a list of vendors to choose from. So let's just go ahead with this one. And here we can choose the document type. So let's say we want to do a non-disclosure agreement. And if you already have the contract, you can upload it right here. So you can choose it from your local computer. And okay, and we can also put in the expiration date. So let's say we want to make it the 31st. And also, if we don't already have an, a contract, we can always create another one. So we can do generate contract here. So we can choose the agreement date. So let's put today's date. And the owner name would be User International. So for the recipient name, it would need to be a unique name. So And the owner address would be 136. And also the recipient address would be 123. And that is how we can generate this contract. So for the attachment over here, we would need to choose the category as exhibits and we can choose it from here. I'll just put a sample one. Okay. And here is a document and we can also choose the reminder to be sent to us. So let's say you want to do two weeks. And once we put in all this information for this form, we can upload it and send it out. And on our left here is the flow scheme right here. It's right here. So we have the generation of this contract. So we upload it and then it's gonna get sent out to the facility management department and then we'll see what happens next from there. So let's send this out. Okay, and it is successful. So the next, what we're going to do is we need to log, we need to switch this administrator to another person who is gonna be the first approver who is Larry. And we should see our approval right here. So here is the contract. 
Here it is. And then we would approve it. Okay, so once they approve it, we need to log in as the next person who is John Brown. So we can go back here and switch back first. And we can now log in as John Brown. And here is our contract. So if we open it up, I can put in the emails to be sent out to, and also the full name of the signer. So I'm gonna put in my name and we can then go ahead and do approve. And once I do that, I am going to receive an email notification. So now let's check my email notification. Here it is. And this will send us to the DocuSign integration. And we can do agree, continue. And here is our document. So we can use this to sign. And we can sign it. And then we can just go ahead and do finish. All right, now let's go back to our system. And now let's go back to as our administrator. And that will bring us to the end of this workflow. So if we go back here in our applications, we can see our pending contracts. Yep, so here is our pending contract right here, as well as our completed doc contracts. All of them right here. And we can also export this to an Excel file. And we also have our expired contracts. So we have some of them here, so we can see the vendor name as well as the document type. And we can also see the date that it was uploaded at as well as when the expiration date is and who the form was created by. And with that, this concludes my demonstration today on the contract management application in EVA. Thank you for watching.